Hi, today on Catherine Learn Stuff, I'm going to walk you through how to make some to and from labels. I've made these for Valentine's Day loop bag, but the concepts can be used to make to and from labels for any occasion. So let's jump in. So Valentine's Day is upon us and I quickly want to make some to and from sticker labels so that my kids can put those onto the gift bags that they're giving out to their friends. So I'm going to quickly walk you through how to make these. We're just going to click new and we're going to select our shapes and we're going to select this rectangle with the rounded edges. I don't like this standard gray that they have so I'm going to go to white because I want this to come out as white. We're going to select our text and hopefully it will work today. I'm going to put two. Leave a blank, and then we're gonna go from Fiona. We're gonna change the direction because I want this centered left. I'm not a fan of this font, so I'm gonna quickly select my system fonts here, and I'm going to pick this one. And now I'm going to reduce the size and try to move this up over here. Okay. Okay, so that's about two inches. We're going to select both items and we're going to de decrease the size to two inches. So that's a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to add in a heart or two. I'm going to add a heart, change the color to red, and make you way smaller. I'll put you here. And now I'm going to group this, so I've got it as a group, I'm going to make a bunch of these and I'm going to flatten this. And this is going to change this to a print and cut. So now I've got a little gift card, gift tag that can be used to be st stuck onto gift bags for my kids. So I am going to now make a bunch of these and then I will walk you through setting them up to print them out. So now that I've duplicated all of these to and from labels, I'm quickly going to select make it. Okay, so now I've got all of my labels on my sheets, so I'm quickly going to send this to my printer to print them off, and then we will cut them out as a kiss cut on my Cricut so that we can just step, pull these off and put them onto the little gift bags that we're going to be using. So I'll see you over at my workstation in a moment. So I've printed off my label sheet, and you'll notice here that these hearts, I'm gonna pull this up a little bit closer, they kind of look a little bit weird, right? Because they were nice little hearts when I had them on Cricut Design Space. What Cricut has done is that they've actually made this heart bleed because I've set that to my settings for cutting it out and it pulls the heart design out outside of the cut line so that when it's cutting it makes sure that we have a nice clean cut around the heart and you've got a full red heart. So that's not something that we need to be worried about. Once we cut this out you'll get to see how nicely it turns out. And so what I'm quickly going to do is I'm just going to put it onto my blue mat and then I'm going to set it off to my Cricut to print now. Let's just line this up here. Now we want this to print off as a sheet, not as individual stickers, so that we can pull them off quickly and put them onto our gift bag. So what I'm going to do is, when I'm putting this into my Cricut, what I want to do is, I want to set this up to, do I have this as my favorites? I'm gonna select a material, and I want to go to, I want to go to washi sheet, not to washi tape. And this is going to give me a kiss cut. So I'm going to put this into my Cricut now and I'm going to cut this up. So I've got this set to custom, I've got my washi sheets set and I'm just going to press cut and we're going to cut this out. Okay, so we've cut out our sheet, so we're quickly going to remove it. And you'll notice that, oops, they are on the paper still, and so all we have to do now is I've got my little gift bags that I'm going to put stickers into. We just need to pull this right off of the page, and it's ready to go. Just like that. And then I just need to have my kids put the names on to the, who they're going to. So you'll notice that they're cut out. I just took this piece off of here, and you'll notice that it's a nice round edge around the heart, but when we were cutting it out, I showed you earlier that the hearts kind of looked like they were offset. That's because the bleed is on for the printing, 
so that when we're cutting it out, it does a nice cut job on us. So even though the print itself looks a little bit off, as I showed you earlier, that's just so that the cut can come out nicely. So there you have it. I'm gonna quickly have my kids put all these together and then we'll be done. And there you have it. Your simple to and from labels are complete. I've listed all the products that I've used and the details below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this project. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.